Okay, let's jump right into the film look effect inside of Final Cut Pro. First, I chose a clip, I just selected a clip, uh, a random clip that I have here. Um, it's a pretty nice clip right there. Girl smiling. And there's a second shot right there. Girl lying there with a black background. Alright, so that's my clip. Uh, the first thing I want to do is create, uh, is create a soft a soft effect, a soft look uh, that looks more like the film effect. And uh, what I found, and it's a really nice filter here. So under video filters, there's something called the River Rock Studios plugin that uh, that they make, and it's uh, the one I'm going to be using right now is the Chromatic Glow. It's it's a phenomenal plugin that um, that lets you customize a lot of the little effects that you can do. Uh, that, uh, that you'd want to be able to do with color, with glow, with, uh, with chroma. So I'll just drag that in there, like that. I'll just get rid of those windows. Okay, so right after that, you don't see anything much that has changed on the actual clip. Double click on the clip so it appears on the viewer. Go into the filters tab, and you'll see the chroma, the chroma glow, little, uh, the chromatic glow uh, effect here filter that's on that tab. Uh, you see the mask color, the fill color, tolerance, feather, blend, transfer function. I'll explain all those uh, right now. So the mask color is basically um, a color that I choose inside my picture, inside my image here that I wanna that I wanna select. So I'll select it with the select tool here. Let's say I'm gonna go with um, That wasn't something I wanted to do. Let's go. I'll go with a, a nice skin tone here. So I've got. I could have gone. You know, selected directly the skin tone that I wanted. But I said, you know what? I'll just. I'll just select the skin tone here. Um, right now she looks a little bit washed out because the fill color is set to white. If I set the fit, fill color to something a little bit more warmer, so I'll just go like that. A little nice orange yellow. Now everything that's that's the color that we selected as the mask color. So everything that's got a slightly skin tone color will be replaced, will be filled with that new warm color that we chose, which is uh, which is a nice little add-on. And that's that's not that's not all. You can actually choose how much tolerance you want to put on that. On that glow, so I could I could totally wash her out and make it look like she's an alien, or really soften her look and make her look uh, perfect. I can play with the feathering. The feathering, obviously, everybody knows what feathering is. It's you know it's been around for ages. It'll soften the edges, uh, make it a lot more um, a lot more glowy, a lot more uh, soft. So a lot softer. So I'll just use a nice round number 10. And the blend. Obviously blend, if you just choose it to be zero, you've got your original footage. The more the blend number is closer to the one, the more you actually see what you want. Right now I'm just going to put it to one. Um, transfer function. How the chromatic glow works for the film look effect, um, it's always going to be put on, under add. So I'll just leave it at add, but we could, you know, you could do multiply, and multiplying will just make it look like anything that's her skin color will be orange, no matter what. So it doesn't matter if it's going to look glowy, it's soft, it's not going to soften her look, it's just going to change the color. So it's good if you want to have a little, it's kind of an add-on to the color correction tool in Final Cut Pro, and it's, uh, it's not bad at all. Again, reverse multiply, it's for a totally different look. So reverse multiply, you know, if I want to have her look, I don't know how you could call that look, but uh, I've seen that somewhere on MTV, somewhere like that. It looks, it doesn't look bad, but it's not the effect that I'm looking for. So I'll go back to add, put it back to where I wanted, where she looked okay. And it was somewhere around there. Okay. And, uh, and I'm, I'm happy with that. And if I just scrub through, 
She looks very soft, very nice. And I'll switch to the second girl. She also looks very, very soft, very, very nice. All right. So that's our first part. Second part. Select your clip. Option Shift and duplicate the layer. So right now we've got two video tracks, video one, video two, both exactly, exactly alike. Let's work with the top one. Double click on the top one and uh, go into effect, effects, video filters, and let's blur the hell out of that one. So I chose Gaussian blur, and Gaussian blur. I go into the filter tab and put it around 19 or 20. She's totally blurred out now, obviously, because our video track, the top video track, is what we're we're seeing. I turn off the video two track. We see the video one track just the way we had it before. So I'll turn it back on. And uh, what we need to do is blend those two. But there's there's a neat way to blend this. Uh, I could go opacity, and you know, I could go here under motion and decide that you know what my opacity level is going to go down to 30. And she looks all soft. It's all nice. It's it's that's okay, but it's still not what I'm looking for. So I'll put it back to 100. And uh, let's right click on that selected clip top layer, so top video track, go to composite mode, and uh, let's choose soft light and see what it does. Bam. Done. That's what I wanted. That's the look I was looking for. Now you've got a totally contrast look, a, a nice emulsion film-like look, and that's what we're looking for. The only thing that you could add if you wanted to is film grain. I personally don't like adding film grain because digital film grain, digital grain is not like film grain, so there's no substitute really. Uh, it does always look fake. Plus, with the new advantages of um, high definition television, you you won't be seeing grain that much longer anymore. But for the sake of argument, I'll show you how to do grain. Just click here and no know, noise tab and let's go render some noise and let's just go to controls make sure it's random noise or else it won't it won't look like grain and uh, simply drag it down make sure it's like that so now you've got a third track video three if I just play that obviously it's simple noise it's just snow. It's just television snow, NTSC. So, how do I work with that? Well, just click on here to toggle the overlays and bring down the opacity down to like 8. And now you've got perfect, perfect grain. I'll have that clip available for download so you can check it out. So, we're done. You can apply that to a whole clip, to a whole movie, or just a few selected clips. Uh, it's really fun to do, and it's uh, screaming fast to render uh, compared to a lot of the other plugins. So, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you a bit later. Alright, bye bye.